Previously on Let's Play Kirby Superstar. There we go. Third time's charm. Obtain a mannequin worth 3,000 gold. Now let's get out of this room before... Oh, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. We're dead. Oh, how nice to play <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Form the skull. Now, on to our main presentation. Hello there, everybody. This is G Maynard here, and welcome back to Let's Play Kirby Superstar. Last time, we finished the old castle area in the Great Cave Offensive. Today, we will be finishing up the Great Cave Offensive. Yeah, by heading off to our final area. Okay. I'm gonna go to the left here. Through this door. Ah, and it's minecart time. Let's hop on. Okay. There we go. Just riding on minecart, run over some random characters you decide. Yes. This minecart track would be a good place to take a nap on. Oh well. Anyways, through this door. And here we are in the final area of the Great Cave Offensive. The garden area. There's a switch right here. Let's hit and see what happens. Oh, there's a bunch of birds! And there's this hole here. And if we go in this hole, we find some more birds and a treasure chest containing winter time worth 250,000 gold. Let's see if this bird on for wing. Fly out. Oh, and I activated the switch that released the birds again. Alright, open this door. treasure chest. However, I should point out that the hole that accesses this treasure chest appears to have some strong wind going through. As you see these up here, we have some power-ups that will probably help us out. I'm gonna pick the one that will best help out with this, which is Jet. And oh, oh, I nearly had it. Basically, with Jet here, I'm just gonna try and um. Jet my way through that hole. It'll take some time. Oh, oh, oh! Yeah, it'll take some time, and if it takes a bit too long, I'll probably have to fast forward. Oh! oh yeah, I'll have to fast forward through some stuff if it takes a lot. Oh. There we go! Alright, and in this treasure chest, we have... A katana, a katana, worth 990,000 gold. I think that's probably the most expensive thing we've had here. Now let's go down and through this door to our main area in the garden. Well, actually, let's hit this safe room first. Now heal, and let's exit. Alright, let's check out this door right here. Alright. Oh, and... 
there's one thing I should probably notice if you notice here. Uh, if you notice, see those little structures there? One of them is a lighter color than the rest. It has some water pouring out of it. So let's push down on the D-pad to access this special area where there's coincidentally a treasure chest, which contains a charm worth 8,000 gold. Christmas tree worth 40,000 gold. Coincidentally, I happen to be um, recording this footage in December. Anyways, let's ditch him. I'll get, uh, let's get a Captain J partner. Barrel worth one thousand five hundred gold. Okay. Right, let's 
so it's in this door. Okay, so this is the stuff. Alright, and that treasure contains Ramia Scale, worth 12,800 gold. Oop! Also, I should point out something about this area. Like, you see these little stars? It's right here. Basically, they're where you're able to pass through these clouds. Alright, we got the plasma. Well, it looks like we can't enter this little door anymore. Ah, so it's in this door. Well, here should be some a bunch of blocks and uh, candy and uh, max of tomatoes. So I'll uh, sign up. There's probably something. There's something hidden in this area. That's what I'm oh. that there's a barrier right here in a treasure chest. And there's a switch here. So we have to hit the switch and get all the way to the end of this area to access the treasure chest. Alright, let's do this. Yeah, 
Yeah, and we can't mess up. So we have to be a bit careful. Oh. Worth 1,100 gold. Oh well. Let's go down here. Perhaps Wheelie, may, this Wheelie Rider may be of use. Bamboo worth six hundred thousand gold. That's right. Are we in here? Ah. There's a Basically, they'll form blocks once they fall. But anyways, here's this treasure chest here, which contains a spirit charm worth 78,500 gold. And here's 
treasure chest here, which contains a Pegasus wing worth 42,800 gold. I want to know who comes up with the prices of these items because, like, some of these items that come from um, some fantastical creatures seems to be a bit um, too low for their price. Cannon craziness. I was trying to find a little Alright, right. 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 there's the door. Let's go through. Worth 8,150 gold. Uh, yeah. Is there anything up here? Nope. Oh, that's healing stuff, though. Shell whistle worth eighty two thousand gold.
this driver's one is longer. Alright, there we go. Let's activate crash. Alright. And through here. And we have a treasure chest here, which contains Aura Halcon. An Aura Halcon, or whatever it is. Some blue crystal thing. Worth 512,000. Guys, okay, so let's hit this here. Okay. Just got two treasures left to find. And once we find those two treasures, we'll fight the boss of this area. And then we'll be done with the um, Great Cave Outlets. But first, let's enter this save room here. Tomato. Oh. <laughs> Save our progress. And down to this middle door here. Alright. There appears to be some platforms tied to rope. Need some cutting type thing. Yeah. Like cutter. Let's see this. Oh. We hit the wrong thing. So let's exit this room. Re enter it. Let's get this one up, I guess. And let's try third time's a charm. As they usually say. Forty thousand gold. Oh, besides a bit of chili. Files. Is it pronounced GIF or GIF? I pronounce it GIF because GIF is um, typically the name. Uh, well, usually when I think of the phrase GIF, I think more of peanut butter than um, photos online. And at the bottom here, we have the final treasure chest, which contains. What? The Triforce! Worth 800,000 gold. What a, you know, treasured artifact of Hyrule is doing it on, in a certain area in Dreamland, um, I do not know. But anyways, let's enter this door. And there's Max Tomato here. And some power-ups. Oh. Anyway. 
anyways. Before I enter the boss, I should probably notify something. First time I played Kirby Superstar, I played it on played the, the first when I first played Kirby Superstar, it wasn't this version, but actually Kirby Superstar Ultra for the Nintendo DS, which is a remake of this game. And I should point out something about the next... Um, our next boss. Um, our next... Normally, in this Let's Plays, I'd have the boss show itself first, then tell you the name. However, for certain circumstances, I'm going to tell you who the boss is straight away. Our next boss will be known as. Um, oh, now I remember. The next boss's name is known as Wham Bam Rock. And, um, in Kirby Superstar Ultra, he has a different design, which I'll show a picture of here. As you can see, um, Wham Bam Rock is primarily the, um, design here is very rock-based, and, um, I should point out that this is actually a redesign. Because, well, let's just um, go on to the next area and, I'll, and show what Brand Wham Bam Rock originally looked like. Right? Through this um, room here. And. This is what Wham Bam Rock looked like in the original version of the game. It's... Not the best design. Yeah, one might easily consider it a bit offensive. So it's basically why he's definitely got it. So it's basically a good thing why he got a redesign. Right. Anyway, some of you may notice that Wham Bam Rock basically attacks by using his fists, which is a attack method. Um, no, snow to be utilized by another certain um, video game boss, known as, which you may know as Master Hand from the Super Smash Brothers series. <laughs> Whether so, oh, this can't Wham Bam Rock may be the inspiration for Master Hand. The only difference being that. Um, Master Hand is just a hand and doesn't have a face, and, um... I'm dead. Anyways, let's try again. If we use explosives against Wham Bam Rock, it will be easy. It's quite a beefy dude. Oh, shoot. Bro, Jr. Oh. 
dead. Alright. Side note, so is my Rimbrock. Oh, just got to avoid some flying dogs. I avoid taking some much danger. And he's down. Goodbye, Wham Bam Rock. And now let's exit through this door here. Pick up all the some tomato, even though I won't really matter here. And hop on for one last trolley ride. Oops, are not that right. Anyways, let's enter this door here. And here's an elevator. Let's go on up. And here's another elevator. And here's a door. There's now a warp star here. Let's hop on and bust out of this underground cavern. Up he goes. Oh, and there's some rocks there. Where they came from, I do not know. Anyways, here's a list of all of the treasures we have here. There's 16 total. And each of them with their price range. I have no idea why candy is more expensive than a lucky cat. Is it <laughs> must be a cheaply made lucky cat, I guess. So apparently a beast fossil is more valuable than a fish fossil. I don't really have much to say. Um, yeah, uh, all I know is that we've just finished the um, Great Cave Offensive and it's a pretty fun romp. This is probably the longest game of the eight we have. And it probably took up about it, it took up four parts. And um, I do not that must be a high quality model ship if it's worth more than a king's cape. Also the katana Katana is probably the most valuable thing there at 999,000. Also, the Christmas tree is apparently a lot worth more. I don't really have much jokes here. Also, that katana is apparently worth more than the Triforce. Also, we have a total of 9,999,990 gold. Kirby's rich now. Congratulations. Now the question is, what's Kirby going to do with all this money he has obtained? Well, we may never know. But there is one thing I do know, besides being finished with the Great Cave Offensive, we can go on to play some more games. Join in next time in our Let's Play of Curry Superstar, where we'll play not one, but three games. These being four games, which will be Revenge of Meta Knight, Megaton Punch and Samurai Kirby. 
we'll probably we'll probably start off with Revenge of Meta Knight first, then these two mini games here we'll play after we complete that. Okay. Anyways, this is G Maynard here saying, and see you all next time. Thank you and good night.